All right, welcome back to my series, Exploring the Arcade. This is the Wings of Liberty Protoss. Wow, okay, so those are lines from Legacy of the Void where the Zerg invade, I think, Shakuras. What this is, is... First of all, welcome. What this is, is this is the Wings of Liberty... Oh, Adepts, okay. Uh, hello? Ugh! Stupid. Oh, this is gonna be fairly easy, right? Like, we can just shade past everything. Okay, come home. Yeah, so basically, oh, it's not automated. Actually, I should check up here. It's not automated refinery. Uh, I need to assign a Probius. Get in the refinery, you mods. And set up shield batteries. The core of any Protoss defend nobody. Okay, never mind. Uh, where's the rescue adept? It's you. Okay, fine. Uh, your job is to go and collect the money. Jumpstart the economy. Oh, this is so funny, like... I don't remember if that actually crashes. Uh, is there more money? Yeah, okay, go get it. I think the defenses got it, to be honest. Not too much to worry about. So what this is, is this the Wings of Liberty? This is a Wings of Liberty mission, but it is done as... What is up here? Oh, there's more. There's, there's, there's more money. And bar launchers. So this is... What's this? Oh, okay. It's just out here. How is this? Lines holding? Everybody good? Okay, go drink some coffee. Or whatever you like to drink. Tea. What have you. Another shoe battery would be good. So what this mission is... Is this actually the invasion of Char? the second time. Oh, the pylon blew up. Okay, that's interesting. I think they could just walk back. I want to get myself a robo. How bad is it? Oh, Muta's okay. Stalker should go help. Nope. Baseline defenses dealt with it fine. What is the objective? Oh, gather a large army. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. Uh, there are a lot of minerals here, so we can max out here safely. We don't need to get supplies, thankfully. So what this mission is, is that once... The idea was that, if you've been paying attention, that once you collect all the artifact pieces, you make this super artifact called the Keystone, very original. And that, in the original story, is supposed to de-infest Kerrigan. And this is basically the failed invasion of Char, because... Well, Raider, Horner, Valerian attempts... To and General Whitmore, I believe, attempt to invade Char, and it goes just as, just about as well as uh, PVT against Cell. Oh, it's actually quite a problem. Uh, I don't know if this Ionic Chaffer is actually gonna make it. Nope. Okay, divert if divert these guys to go in. Do I have to? Like, if this adapt just shades from here, and back to the shield battery line. Oh man. Okay, that might uh, let the Vanguards attack. Actually, no, the Vanguards are gonna be fine. They're gonna blow their way through this, and I just wasted a bunch of uh, money on. You know what? Let's get ground upgrades. We've only got one warp gate. I gotta change that. We actually have a lot of money. We don't have a lot of space, ironically. Like, that seems to be the bigger problem. Alright. So, as I was saying, that went just as well as, you know, a PV... No, a ZVT against Savil. And all of the forces that were supposed to land on the planet were completely scattered. Basically, they botched the invasion. Like, hard. Oh, I never built a cyber core. Are you trapped? No, okay, good, you're not. Uh, okay, this is a new challenge. I don't have space. 
I think I'll have all the units I need. What can I warp in? High tap plus, dark tap plus, dark tap plus are of no use. I Adepts actually are going to be useful because they can shade to locations. They can go past the defenses and I believe that once the... Yeah, once they warp in... Once they warp in, the existing forces should be able to defend it on its own. Okay, this could actually be a problem because we have no anti-air. Oh, they're getting attacked! Okay, defended, Buda's dead. Buda's gonna die at least. Yeah, we have really abysmal anti-air. Can Adep shoot up? I don't know if Adepts can shoot up in this mode, because if not, I suddenly need to attack the Archons. Like, the splash damage in this army is... No, not the splash damage. The, um... The anti-air this army is pathetic. Can they, can they shoot up? Air and ground. Okay, yeah, they're, they're, they're gonna be fine. Uh, they're gonna be fine. In the actual game, it's actually fairly difficult to reach all these locations. You don't have adepts, and... Well, I played on Brutal. Or rather, the version I remember, I played on Brutal. So, it was honestly a bit harder. And the attack waves come with more ferocity. Another bonus about this... Okay, the next group is here. Hey, dropships. I feel dumb for waking up. Wait, I have a warp prism. Can the warp prism just make it here? No, okay. If I send a representative... Yep, we're out of here. Back to safety. Oh, one of them actually went down. That's, that's disappointing. See, that's the thing. Like, in the, in the actual game, I attempted to do that with Vikings. I think I attempted that to do that with Banshees first, because I thought, okay, they're cloaked. But you need to, to have ground presence, rather than just air presence. Do I want Archons? You know what, we'll probably get Archons when the other drops arrive. Okay, there are a lot of drops. Where are they? There's one here, there's one here. There's a pretty large attack wave coming here. I think the forces here are going to be fine. Couple more sentries are going to be helpful. Yeah, they're they they're, they're fine. Where are the drop waves going to be though? Okay, since I have a spare warp prism and I only need one. <coughs> Let's see what's over here. An almost empty base. Nope, I gotta do it. This is like the 1v1 thing where you. where you just like warp in a bunch of stuff. Okay, so. Okay, war field, not white ball. So this idiot crashes, kills the hydralisk while he's at it. We're not the mid yet. We're Daylon. Daylon. No, you'll be fine. <laughs> Some invasion. I wish if nowadays in like 2017 you could just imagine that being a... Oh, another Warpid is here. Okay. Where's my Adept? Warfield won't be alive for very much longer. My excellent drum tape is clear. And that is me. There's absolutely nothing you can do. Oh, the shade counts. Okay, I didn't know about that. Um, we should send some reinforcements. I'm gonna send some reinforcements. Because the sentries are gonna die on their own. Oh, you idiots. Okay, that was humiliating. Destroy the dinosaur. Ah, that's easy. I think once I get like a now let's, let's get a robotic bay as well. Okay, no, if I build it there, I will end up blocking my own walking path. Uh, let's build it here then. I don't think it's going to block. 
I don't know, Warfield seems pretty well set up and defended. And there's still four more drops en route. Alright, let's start uh, building up an army. Well, not so much an army, building up an attack force. So we'll have two attack forces, one to defend the base, and one to go out and, and fight. Oh, that's actually kind of far away. Oh, at, at this point in time, I remember that uh, Horner would mention that there are two, that there are two groups, and this is actually going to be a problem because okay, one group is going to be here, and this is, these guys are supposed to be the defensive group, but okay, where are they actually? Uh, what uh, is down here? Okay, these are phoenixes. Okay, let's send one group down to attack that. Another group come here to pick up the Colossi. Defenses will warp it at home. Control group one will be the main attack force. Control group two will be the supposed to, are supposed to be the like the defensive attack force. Add up control group two, push south, pick up the phoenixes, and collect the money. How's attack group one going? Okay, great. We'll add the more powerful Colossi to to that attack group. Okay, attack group two now have phoenixes under our control. What? Hello? Hello? Oh, you're kidding me. Where's my other war prism? You go 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 talk to the phoenixes and get them over here. Uh, you know what? I know an attack wave is gonna come. Ah, let's just push. We're not supposed to do this, or rather, we don't have to do this, but I'm gonna do it. Let's go blow up the the small cannons. Add to control group one. Push south. Change of plans. Push north. Nope. Let's pick up these guys. The warp prism is more for reinforcements. Come on. I need these Tempest. Because the enemy has actual, they actually have air defenses. I will add some more Adepts to this attack group. We'll fend off this wave fairly easily. Where's the attack group to? Uh, put him down here. Let the main army attack here. And then I think we can go north after that? Okay, those are bailings. Not bad. These defensive works are actually causing me more problems than they're helping. Alright. F2. A move. We didn't get the money. We'll send a probe to go get it. Uh, DTs? Do you have blink? Yep, this is the last drop. Oh, we're at 290 supply! Oh, if I knew I would have warped in more stuff. Okay, you know what? I was actually planning on... ...on launching a offensive here just to get rid of all these things. But uh, I'm not going to bother. We've got more army than we'll ever know what to do with, and I've forgotten my upgrades. What's new? I should hotkey the forge, actually, for efficiency. Uh, how do we get there? Where's the route? Like, when playing as, when playing as Terran, you have access to the full Terran arsenal. Oh, hey, I've actually just crashed. Why did you do that, you stupid DTs? We wanted to blow it up. Oh, s no, never mind. Okay, there's another attack wave coming from here, but the the defensive army will take care of it. The warp is still alive? Okay, good. Oh, the scourge! Yeah, I think we can annihilate this entire base, and then we still can't get there, it looks like. Like, how do you walk there as a Protoss army? Although, to be honest, with uh, Tempest, you could, I, I could just siege it from this position. How do you get here? Can you get here? 
Uh, okay, just to destroy the Dynas worms. I think you're supposed to, to put siege tanks in, in a position to hit them. Can the Colossi walk? No. Um, this is awkward. I can't walk in stalkers either. Yeah, we're running out minerals. We have a huge bank though, so I don't know how much that matters, truthfully speaking. I mean, the Tempest will eventually do the job. I remember when I did this in the original game, I had Medivax siege tanks so I could just, you know, transverse, tra transverse these cliffs. You know what? We'll send the main army. Can we just walk here? If I, I'm, I'm more than happy to just like walk and annihilate everything down here. If that forces me to, no, 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 Air Force. Idiots. No, no, let, let, let's regather. Oh, we're down in supply. I think we could just walk through here? Down here? I mean, this pathing is really weird. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We were at maximum. We were just now. Yeah, so in the actual game, you could just put siege tanks up here. And you'll be fine. Because you can shell away here, then you can like leapfrog and jump here. I've never gotten that voice line before. What's happening? I've never gotten that voice line because I've never actually pushed down here specifically. No, come on, we're Protoss. Protoss OP. Heh. <laughs> Good at her arrogance. This one tempest is still slowly shooting its way. Come on, shoot down this. Okay, there we go. Yeah, like normally you just put tanks up here, you shell this position, you drop, and then you're fine. But that's not the Protoss way. Protoss don't need no drop. Where's the warp prism? Ah, there it is. Protoss death ball. Oh no, that's not a spork, uh, spork cannon. This is the way of the death ball. <laughs> GG. Well, if you liked this episode, do consider liking, subscribing, leaving a comment down below. This will be uploaded to YouTube. And consider following me on Twitter as well. I also stream these on Friday, 7-ish p.m. live. You can hang out with me live there. If not, I hope you enjoyed this episode. See ya.